Welcome back to the Insider's Guide to Vantage Point. This tutorial provides an in-depth look at the Markets Tree. The Markets Tree is an organized list of categories, markets, and contracts. It includes a fine feature that allows you to search the tree by a market's name or data provider symbol. Use the Markets Tree to open charts, history reports, or daily reports. Display general market properties, lists of inner markets, a link to service bulletins, and a symbol override function. And the Markets Tree also displays detailed information about contracts and data. Let's take a look at the way the Markets Tree is organized. Vantage Point makes predictions for hundreds of markets, and these hundreds of markets can be very broadly categorized as being either commodities, financials, or stocks. These very broad groups of markets, such as commodities, financials, and stocks, are then further broken down into Vantage Point's market categories. For example, the commodities is broken down into energies, grains, meats, metals, and softs. Financials includes categories such as ETFs, forex pairs, and indices. And stocks contains all of the stock categories such as conglomerates, healthcare, technology, and utilities. And finally, the Markets Tree will display a list of contracts that are available in the data for each individual market. For example, do a single left click on the plus sign that you see to the left of sugar number 11, and then below sugar number 11, you see a list of contracts, and these are the contracts that are available in the data that was provided by your data provider. I will now show you how to use the Find feature to locate markets on the tree. You can search by the entire market name, part of the market name, the entire data vendor symbol, or just part of the symbol. To search by market name, just left click in the box to the left of Find, type the market name in this box, and then left click the Find button, and you see Vantage Point located Barrick Gold in the Basic Materials category. Vantage Point can also search the tree by a partial market name, so instead of typing Barrick Gold in the box, you could simply type Gold and then click Find. When you do this, Vantage Point finds and highlights the name of every market that contains the word Gold. You can also search by data provider symbol, and this is particularly helpful when you're trying to locate either an ETF or a stock, because in this case, the um, data provider symbol exactly matches the exchange's ticker symbol for that particular market. To search by symbol, simply type square brackets around the symbol in the find field, like this. I'm going to search for Barrick Gold using its stock symbol ABX. I type the square bracket, then the symbol, and another square bracket, and then click Find. And there's Barrick Gold highlighted on the Markets tree. Or I can search for part of the data provider symbol, and to do that, I just type the left square bracket, the first couple letters of the symbol, and then I click Find. And in this case, Vantage Point finds all of the markets that have a data symbol that begins with AB and highlights the market name on the tree. Use the Markets tree when you want to open a chart, daily report, or history report. And there's a few ways that you can do this. For example, you can open up with one command all of the charts, daily reports, or history reports for all of the markets in a particular category. For example, 
Suppose you want to open charts for all of the energies markets. Simply right click on the name of the category, energies. Choose open from the drop down menu. And then select either chart, daily report, or history report from the drop down menu. Or you can also select all. And this will open up a chart, daily report, and a history report for each one of the energies markets. You can also use the markets tree to open up charts or daily reports for specific markets instead of all the markets in a particular category. For example, suppose you do not need to see a chart or daily report for every market in the energies category, but rather would like to pick just a couple select markets. To do this, left click on the plus sign to the left of energies to see the list of available markets. Then find the market of interest from the list for example, New York Lake Crude Oil. Do a single right click on the market name, select Open from the menu, and then Chart, Daily Report, History Report, or All as desired. You can also use the Markets tree to open up charts or reports for specific markets and contracts. And this applies to only those markets that have futures contracts and will not be relevant to markets such as forex pairs, ETFs, and stocks. When Vantage Point opens up a chart or report for either all markets in a category or specific markets, and these markets are futures, it uses a default current contract which corresponds to the nearby futures month. However, you can open a chart or report for nearly any contract that is displayed on the markets tree. To open up a chart or report for specific market and contract, first find the name of the market on the markets tree, and we'll go with New York Lake Crude Oil again. Do a single left click on the plus sign to the left of the market name to display the list of available contracts. Find the one you want in the list. And in this case, we'll go with the old historical 2006-08 contract. Right-click on the name of the contract, select Open from the menu, and then Chart, Daily Report, History Report, or All as desired. Now earlier I mentioned that Vantage Point will create a chart or report for nearly every contract that appears in the list. I said nearly because Vantage Point requires 45 days of data to generate a prediction. And for some very old or very far in the future contracts, there might not be 45 days of data associated with those contracts. So in these very rare examples, Vantage Point will not create a report or chart but will display a message telling you that the reason it could not do so was because the required 45 days of data was not present. The markets tree also provides access to general information about the markets themselves and the contracts and data. These topics are covered in more detail in additional tutorials However, I'll just briefly show you how to access the market properties and contract property screens.